All right then gang, so sometimes when we create React Native apps, we need a way to navigate between different screens. In our app, for example, we've got a home screen, a review detail screen, and also an about screen. And we'll also have a place to add new reviews, but that's gonna be a modal, not a separate screen. We'll see that later on. But anyway, we need a way to navigate between these different screens. So just like on a website, we navigate between web pages using links or buttons or something, we can also do that on our mobile app. For example, if we click on a review title on the home screen, I want to navigate to the review details. And if I click the back button on the review details screen, I'm gonna go back to the home screen. So there's several different ways we can navigate to and from screens in React Native. And the first way that we're gonna be exploring is by using what's known as a stack navigator. And that's a good description because screens on an app stack on top of each other. So imagine our app is a stack and initially on that stack we have a home screen. Now this is the first screen that shows when we open the app up. Now if we were to navigate to another screen from the home screen, then we could push that screen onto the stack. So now this screen right here would sit on the top of the stack and that is what you would see in the app, but the home screen still sits underneath it. Now, if from this screen we navigated to yet another screen, then we'd push that onto the stack and this is what we'd see on the actual device, but these two screens would still be sitting underneath still on the stack. Now, if we wanted to go back to a previous screen, what we'd have to do is pop off a screen from the stack and then we'd see what's underneath again. In this case, this screen right here. So if you wanted to go back to the home screen, you'd have to pop twice. So you can probably imagine that this could get quite messy if you just keep pushing screens onto the stack all the time on top of each other, and you could end up with duplicates. For example, you wouldn't wanna push the home screen on top again when it's already sitting underneath. So you do have to plan your navigation pretty carefully when you're designing apps and that's what makes it slightly more tricky than navigation on a website. Now, in our particular app, we're gonna be using this kind of stack navigation to get between the home screen and the review detail screen. So we're gonna start with the home screen, right? And that is gonna be the first thing we see on the app. Now, we're gonna list a load of different review titles on the home screen, and when we click on a review title, what it's gonna do is add that review detail screen onto the stack so we can show that review. Then on this review detail screen, we're gonna get a little back button in the header. And when we click on that button, it's gonna pop this review detail screen back off the stack and show the home screen again underneath. Now we're not gonna be using a stack navigator to navigate to the about screen. We're only gonna be using the stack navigator to navigate between these two screens, the home screen and the review detail screen. And that's because we're gonna use a different type of navigation later on to navigate to the about screen. But anyway, that is the basis of stack navigation right there in React Native. And there are additional things we can do with this stack, which we will see later. But first though, let's set up our app to be able to use navigation. And to do that, we're gonna to need to install a few extra packages. So then we're gonna be using React Navigation, a third party package to add navigation to our app. And you wanna to go to reactnavigation.org to read the docs. I'll leave this link down below, then click on read guides. And there is a really good getting starting guide right here that tells you exactly how to set it up. We're gonna scroll down and we can see the first thing we need to do is run this npm install React Navigation. So I'm gonna copy this dude and I'm gonna head down over to my editor and I'm gonna open up the terminal. I'm not gonna cancel out of the current process that is running our app. Instead, I'm gonna to go to a new terminal by pressing this plus button, and now I can install right here. So make sure you're in the correct directory, then paste in npm install react navigation. So that is the core package that we need to install first of all. Now, there are a few other things we need to install as well, and those are these things. These are the packages that most of the different navigators in React Navigation depend on. So we need to run this line as well, expo install React Native Gesture Handler and React Native Reanimated. Now notice this time, 
we're using Expo install instead of NPM install. And that's just because we're using a React Native app created by Expo and it just works better with Expo to install some things this way, that's all. So what I'm gonna do is try and highlight all that, but I am having some difficulty. I'm gonna copy it and then we'll paste it inside our terminal over here when the other one has installed, which it has. So let me paste this other one in right now and then press enter and it's gonna install the rest of the dependencies for us. Okay, awesome. So now that is everything. All of these core packages are installed and ready for us to use. So in the next video, we're gonna set up a stack navigator to navigate between our home screen and our review detail screen.